Hello, hello everyone and welcome to another episode here on the MI Gardener channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a super inexpensive compost corral. Now this is using just free and local resources. Many places throw out uh, pallet wood and things like that. So we picked up three pallets and uh, I'm going to show you how to make it. And it's pretty much just a free project. You just have to find the pallets. Now in some places they sell the pallets for like five bucks. but um, if you look around, you can in fact find them. A real reliable place that I have found to find them is actually at lumber yards. I know, lumber yards uh, surprisingly ship a lot of lumber on pallets. So, um, and then after they're done, they just throw them out. So uh, I go to our local Lowe's and Home Depot, ask them if they have any. And in most cases, they have three or four just lying around they're willing to give you. So um, definitely do not buy them. Um, but yep, so I got three of them. It's best if they're all the same size and same kind of type because they have tall ones, long ones. Some are uh, almost completely filled up with slats. Some are really gappy. So um, for aesthetic purposes, given that this is in, the, in fact in the city, I prefer to go a little more aesthetically pleasing. But um, in most, I mean, in most cases you can find three matching ones. and I think it does kind of look the best to be honest. Um, but you know, any palette will work, I guess. Uh, so coming in close, I'll show you the, the materials, and it's really simple. I mean, it's not going to be rocket science. It's basically just going to serve a purpose, and that's uh, what we'll get into also. All right, so the first thing we want to do is secure at least one corner. Once we have an L, it will be able to hold itself much better. So I've simply got some two and a half inch galvanized nails here. Um, and really anything will work. Uh, screws, screws are great. Screws are great, but um, I find that nails uh, are a little easier to just pop in and pop out because this will rust over, or no, this, this will not rust, um, but it will rot. So having the ability to take it apart uh, is kind of important so you can replace it. All right, so now that I've gotten one corner secured, the whole thing is kind of at least going to stand up for me. And now what I want to do is I want to have kind of an A-frame design because there's so many holes in all the pallet wood, it's really difficult to secure it together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these, uh, just these kind of, I guess it's like one by twos, and, um, and I'm going to secure them in kind of an A-frame where they will, uh, where they will act as a center support to really hold everything together. And for that, I'm just using these uh, two inch, or two and, a, two and three quarters inch, um, uh, 3Gs here. So these are, these are super nice. They're, uh, all right, they're framing nails. They're uh, two and seven eighths inch. So um, I don't think really the type of nail matters, but what I can say is that um, don't get something that's, that's uh, going to be so long <laughs> because the thing about pallet wood is everything is so thin and so kind of wiry that um, you don't need, you know, you, you don't need to make this thing Fort Knox. It's going to hold itself together and that's what's going to hold your compost together. And there we go. As you can see, you're gonna hit a, quite a few nails because <laughs> there's so many nails in pallet wood that just get ready to botch a few. All right, so there you go. There is the compost corral build. Hopefully you all enjoyed. It's certainly something that's gonna get a ton of use because when we mow our lawn, we bag all of our grass clippings and we rake leaves, we throw leaves in here. And it's just a great way to uh, kind of uh, recycle some, well, I guess reuse, has some old pallets that would have just been thrown out or, or burned. Um, so we're using those and we're using the grass clippings instead of sending them off to a landfill. We're keeping them on the property, turning them into beautiful plant food uh, and compost to feed our plants and refill our beds. And that is awesome as well. Um, and so it's just an awesome little build that uh, I thought I'd bring to you all. Something that you can definitely do for little to no cost other than, you know, maybe nails and, and, uh, and some things like that, but 
You really should be about as cheap as humanly possible. So uh, hopefully you all enjoyed. Keep, uh, keep commenting in the comments box below. Last video we had so much engagement and I really do appreciate that. So let me know uh, if you liked this, other improvements you'd make to it, things like that. And uh, that's, always, that's always welcome and appreciated. So as always, this is Luke from the My Gardener channel reminding you to grow big or go home. See you guys. Bye.